homemade spinning wheel. It has been modified from the dough deck free plans uh, that you get online. The flyer, the flyer assembly here, um, this is out of the book Spinning and Dying Yarn by Ashley Martineau. Um, so that gives complete. It was, I took nine and a half inch pieces of PVC pipe, one inch PVC pipe. These are nine and a half inches long and I took a three quarter inch piece of wood and put it on both ends and I just used tight bond wood glue for the ends and that has worked great so far. Um, I took a router to this end where my drive band is <clears throat> and that works great. This spins very bulky yarn as you can see. This is just a one ply the single ply yarn but it would do great with two or three or four ply yarn um, because the orifice here is one inch so as you can see that I put six cup hooks on each side of the flyer um, that's worked out really good I just drilled little holes first and drilled um, screwed them in this is the end where this keeps the bobbin in there so when I want to take um, when I want to take off my flyer I will just take off this tensioner that I made here out of leather and then this just will slip right out um, I just simply took a piece of leather from an old leather coat um, screwed an eye hook in there not a cup hook that has to be an eye hook so it's closed put a screw right down through there a bolt and then you can use any kind of knot I used a wing knot my husband said I should have used a regular knot but the wing knot works fine <clears throat> and this here was about 16 inches long this base here um, and then I just had, I think that this ended up being eight inches long here, and this piece here is six inches long. Um, this here, you really have to measure it, and depending on exactly how you are making your wheel. Um, I use these dimensions because I was basing it off of the Dodex spindle wheel. This here is the original frame from the Dodex spindle wheel. You may have to change your dimensions depending on what you have available. I just really wanted to <clears throat> use the pieces of my dodak because I had bought the wood and stuff new for that and the bolts and everything. So I just wanted to kind of reuse that. Um, I added another piece of wood down here underneath because the dodak base was not long enough so I had to extend that a couple of inches so that it would be directly under my flyer and bobbin assembly. Here for my treadles, I basically did the same thing that it calls for in the Dodak. Um, my treadles are about 10 inches long. I drilled a hole down through here. I used some nice cording they have. It's about 19 cents a foot at Lowe's. Um, so I just used Hi, this Mama. plastic Hi, tubing Mama. and just a couple of inches of that is <laughs> with a knot. Um, on the top here and a knot underneath on the underside of the treadles here. Um, and also you can see right here that we have um, two inch hinges and we get a two pack of them from Lowe's for under three dollars. This bottom piece here, this is a two by two of the cheapest wood that they sell at Lowe's. It's white wood. Um, it was very cheap. And it, it was a 2x2 two two there, and then I also used that same 2x2 two two here for under my Dodec, original Dodec frame that I had from my spindle wheel. And then I had to just raise it up with another piece of 3 quarter inch wood down here to make up for this additional piece that I put under the Dodec frame. Um, as far as the wheel itself goes, this is a 16 inch bike wheel that we use. You can use any size bike wheel that you have available. We found these on the side of the road. They were perfect. Got a couple more, so you might see more wheels coming. Um, 
it worked really good. My husband helped me with putting the wheel on there, and he actually, he totally put the wheel on there because I just don't have any idea how to do that. Um, so he pushed the bolt through and just enough so that we can get the nut on the back here and it still spins freely. Um, and so that works really nice with the ball bearings in there. Um, this here, these are bearing rod ends. We ordered these on Amazon for about $9 a piece. We got two of them. The inside here, this moves on its own. It's free moving when you go around and it's just, it's perfect for this. Um, this here, I kind of just, again, I used what I had available here. We had, we have a lot of hardware just laying around from other projects and stuff that we didn't use or that we've taken off things. This was a U-bolt. Um, it was only threaded on the last, you know, inch and a half of the ends here. So these here are actually, these are not even screwed in, these ones. Um, so right here, though, that's fine. That was just to make up for the room that there are no threads and push this plate down on there. These here, these two are both lock nuts, and this one here as well is a lock nut um, to keep that on there and sturdy so that it doesn't go anywhere. Um, on the end of the bearing rod ends we have just a plain nut that my husband put on there he also he threaded this rod himself because we could not find find the fine um the fine threaded rod uh, locally so he actually just bought a plain steel rod and threaded that with a tap and die um down here we've got the seven inch stainless steel carriage bolt and that has worked really well for us. We've got three lock nuts in place. Oh, and on the inside of my Dodec wheel, where you cannot see right now, there is a little plastic bushing in there. I got two packs of the plastic bushings for like, like a dollar for a two pack. Um, I bought a couple of packs of those. There is one of those in place in there. I took a little bit of that tight bond wood glue I was talking about earlier and I stuck it in there. So that is in place in there just so the carriage bolt um, is not rubbing on the wood. Um, here is a fender washer and then we, or that's, that's not even a fender washer. That's just a big, <clears throat> that's just a big two inch washer with a half inch, um, this is a half inch carriage bolt. So that goes on there, we've got a lock nut. Then here we've got this piece of wood and you just, you measure that, I think ours is like uh, six inches. You measure that where your bolt is gonna go, you put your half inch, you drill your half inch hole right into this piece of wood. Up underneath here, I screwed just one single screw is holding this in place, but it's not going anywhere. That's all that it needs. Um, okay, so you put your bolt through there. We have another lock nut. We have another washer. We have this piece here, which ended up being 13 inches long. This piece is 13 inches long. Here we've got another washer, and then we have another lock nut to finish that off. And my husband did that whole assembly as well for me because he's just better at that type of thing. Over here, <clears throat> I did this. Um, we put another eye hook here to finish off our bearing rod end assembly to make the wheel go around. Um, this is just to attach it to the footman. We've got the bolt here. It's going through the bearing rod end. Um, then we have our other nut here. And then we have our eye hook. And then we have another nut. And it doesn't have to be this long. Mine was like three inches. It could definitely be shorter than that. Um, again, it depends on what you're working with exactly. And that's about it. It spins up yarn fast. Um, I've got a lot of thick yarn. You can spin in your bobbles or your beads um you can, you can ply the yarn and yeah it works great so subscribe and 